Hey, good day. We come to a beautiful place called Polo Gardens. It's a lovely area, and we're having a bit of a family get together here. We've got aunties, uncles, cousins. Um, my mum's here, and we brought all our kids too. So many beautiful big trees here. This is one I'm standing against here. I love this one. It's a cowrie pine. Have a look at the size of it. How beautiful is this? Got a great little water feature here with a walk bridge. Couple of little rock pools and waterfalls coming down over the rocks. It just sounds absolutely lovely. Right next to this awesome little water area, I found a nice big cycad. It's actually going to seed. Means it's a nice old female. Beautiful big cycad going to seed. This is the bottom side of the water feature, nice little water hole here. It's got a lot of water weed in it, just about covers the whole surface at the moment. But those lilies are gorgeous. See the nice big water lilies? Do you guys call them water lilies around the world? I'm sure there's another word for them too and I just forget it at the moment. But they've got the big lily pads for leaves on the top of the water. And then they get that absolutely stunning big flower. Lotus, lotus flower, I think it is. Is that what they call it, everyone? Ready to explode into a big blossom soon. Isn't it gorgeous? Ready to pop. Massive bamboo. It's a huge clump of bamboo. If you have a look real close, you can see where a lot of people have scratched their names into it. All through there, they've all got it.
got a strangler fig growing in this old stump. They're called strangler figs because they'll start growing in the pocket of a tree and they'll strangle the original tree or the host and end up taking it over. This one's just growing in an old stump but you can still see those roots. They get really nice interesting big roots that wrap around everything and beautiful big fig roots. It's really dense tree cover in here. There's a really thick canopy above us. It's um, like a bit of a rainforest area and they got a little path leading down through it and little lookout areas and places to stop and sit. And the tree has a thousand eyes. Look at them all up here. It's got some interesting little knots and marks on it where all the old branches have come off. They look like eyes. I think this is what they call a candlestick tree. Down here is a big dry creek bed. What's this side? We're not too far away from the river. The river's about 500 yards in that direction, so this is the big creek bed that leads down to the river. Remember, take time for the simple joys.